and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Taric. All right, we're going back over to Bilgewater with a deck that looks pretty strong. We got just kind of good cards everywhere. Our two champions are going to be Taric and Twisted Fates. This deck's going to be more of like a Twisted Fate turn four and um, establishing board and stuff like that and then having Taric later on. This isn't going to necessarily be... Um, you know, some games it will be, but not necessarily like curve out with Taric and then start supporting right away. Because we don't have like a ton of spells that target for Taric, and so it's really going to be more of a late game thing. We have like Pale Cascade and Guiding Touch. Um, both of those, of course, are drawing cards. We have like the Mentor of the Stones that creates gems uh, that we can use there. And uh, Jack the Winner with the Sleep with the Fishes can be something that we can help finish out the game actually with that. But yeah, it's about those drawing cards, like we talked about with Guiding Touch and Pale Cascade, how they draw cards. Um, this deck is going to be leveling up Twisted Fate a lot, and that's kind of our that's our goal, is uh, leveling that up. Of course, we'll have Salvage as well. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what we're going to be trying to do. Because these things can be basically, like Taric turns Guiding Touch and Pale Cascade into Salvage, right? Because you get to draw two with both of those. And that's kind of, that's like the combo of our deck. And using these these card draw spells here in Targon to pair with Twisted Fate and level that up. Um, Jack the Winner and Riptide Rex are there as our ways to finish out the game. Um, Higher Gun is pretty cool with Taric, where um, you know you can get stuff vulnerable and then have Taric challenge something that maybe it stays alive because you gave something small vulnerable. Or maybe if it's something large vulnerable, if you have a leveled up Taric, it can't take damage or die, and then you get to challenge things with that. That could be pretty cool too. But all right, that's our deck. Let's go play five games over in ranked. Um, kind of the problem is I'm just getting a whole bunch of Taric decks, <laughs> you know? So I, I split up two Taric decks here. We're mulliganing this. We can have Hired Gun on turn two. We don't really need it on turn two. Let's keep Salvage. Let's keep this thing to play on turn two. So your Taric deck is with Trundle and doing a bunch of buffs with Starlet Seer and stuff. We'll probably play that tomorrow if that sounds good with you. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Punish transgressions. Well, yes, Hired Gun does give the largest thing in play vulnerable, but the largest thing in play may still be a smaller card if you play Hired Gun early. Devotion to battle. Yeah, they may not have something that's really that large. Alright, Avalanche is of course a card. There's plenty of killing left. So one to make the Jagged Butcher a 3-3. Hired gun doesn't die to Avalanche. We can give this thing vulnerable. Be worth it. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Our banner will lead the way. All right, put that down to two health. Ooh, perfect. Punish transgression. I guess I could have tried to put them down to one, you know, by challenge. I don't know. I guess I kind of focused on getting the Weirding Stones out of here more. Uh, it's really, am I going to Twisted Fate, red card, or just make it rain and save three spell mana? I think because of, like, Avalanche already being needed to help save them, that I'm just going to make it rain, save Twisted Fate. And I'm, I'm glad we did it like this, because if I would have just dealt one extra damage to them, they would still be at three and they would still have that Weirding Stones alive. So, yep, good thing. Good thing I'm playing for the later game and not just trying to kill them this turn. Because they're going to be back up to 20 in no time. I 
guess we're just not going to get that mana. You know, like, I want to get the mana, but we're not going to play Salvage first before Twisted Fate. We're going to play Twisted Fate first. We just don't get that mana. Oh, I wish I could play you right now, Mentor of the Stones. Um, get bloody, I guess it makes get the most paid. sense to play this first, too. You point, I shoot. No, Riptide Rex. Does it make sense to play Mentor of the Stones? Not really. I guess if I block with one of the two, blocking with the two three would deal one damage to their hexes. Good. All right, we are on a winning streak. Oh wait, I guess we're not. I forgot that kept on targeting that. Well, time to make some coin. Time to make some coin. Try me. Cool. They don't have the five mana healed Nexus card. <laughs> that would have been silly if I ended up losing that after I said that we were gonna win and marked it down as a win. That would have been very silly. We still would have lost this. I was said I played five games of this deck, never had that kind of hand. Well, that's just five games. You know, that's not a very large sample. Let's keep these two cards. Daybreak and Nightfall. No one's the wiser. Got the good blocker. Ours is the one true light. I don't think that they will just block now. Yep, they take it because they want to attack. Uh, I was really hoping they'd play another one health thing. <clears throat> I'm still gonna play this Mega Rain right now and kill this Saboteur before it attacks. And does the one damage to me. You know, I don't want to just like pass and then they go straight to combat, right? Like that's that's what I don't want. Um, what what they could have here is some of like the two one fearsome spiders that maybe I could have killed. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. You'll fight or you'll swim. Cool, I'll take that Got one mana with the attune. Thank you. Guilty would bear. Love ya. That could be helpful. Yeah, Gangplank Nightfall deck. Super strong. Maybe I'll play that again tomorrow and get our rank up on. Let's see what you can do. No blocking with misfortune. My kind of party. Take that. This is where we draw another Mega Rain. Mega Rain. Darn. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. Don't worry. I am. That is scary. 
they went powder keg. No. I did not mean make it rain as in they should have make it rain. That is not what I meant. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. That is not what I meant at all. No further. Blah. Fade and be gone. Uh. Hope crystallizes. Never submit. So of course they didn't block with R2 too because we're gonna turn it into a 5-5 tough. See if we can survive. That's a great draw. Looking for trouble. It found me. Yeah, I think we're just gold carding. Fate. Fortune. Keep this gang playing from attacking. Hold it, partner. Good draw, good draw. You know, want to want to go straight to combat again. Want to get rid of a blocker and me keep the attacker. Looks like trouble. Unyielding. So they have to block with both their champions here. They go to one. And then Riptide Rex will finish them out. They will have a turn to cast a Decimate if they have a Decimate. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't stop them from having double Decimate. the odds to hit one specific target it's like what were their odds of hitting my nexus is it one out of four let's see because they, they have to hit either like a, a one out of four or a one out of three or a one out of two right like they have to hit any of those is that just the odds or is it just simply you know you have three things there's four targets so three out of four is 75 percent or does it like compound like that? I'm not sure which one is the correct thing. All right, so what are we doing? Trundle, Trindamir. We'll keep a Petty Officer, but I don't want to keep two Petty Officers. Like normally Petty Officer is pretty great, but they are an Avalanche deck. We'll have the Salvage to help get some more cards, but then we were hoping to have a better curve just like the first game that we played. This game we did not have that better curve. Not casting Mega Rain. Ours is the one true light. Okay, so they do not have Avalanche mana. Oh, they do have Avalanche. It, just, it was delayed a little bit. Sorry. Punish transgressors. Basically, saving this for. 
for the salvage. I don't need to like protect my Legion Saboteur again when they are an Avalanche deck. Alright, so turn one Omen Hawk, so turn one blocker, turn two ramp, turn three ramp, turn four some more ramp. I guess I'm gonna play this. I hope they don't have Avalanche. If they do have Avalanche, they at least take out two of their ramp cards, because then I'll make a rain. Alright, Jack. Let's see how these sleep with the fishes are. Tomorrow. We're gonna see how those sleep with the fishes are tomorrow. Turn six, just Ledros. getting through and dealing the rest of the damage like am i just i, mean, I guess I, I gotta be blocking this thing all the time don't really see the path to victory but i'm gonna try Play first. The war mother will unite us all. Yuck. All right, maybe we kill all those things again. <laughs> no. <laughs> the exact opposite targets. No, so Darth Drew, you wouldn't multiply those percentages together. Multiplying, see, so you wouldn't you wouldn't multiply three fourths times two thirds times one half. That would be saying that you need like all of those to hit, but you only need one of those to hit. You could do the opposite. You could mul maybe you maybe it's multiply. Um, because so yeah, you're saying it's. So yeah, I think it's just 75% chance they... So I guess that would work of like their odds to miss it, I guess. Probably not legendary. Probably not, to be honest. This angry for action. Yeah, so it probably is just the, the three out of four, you know, 75% chance for them to hit it. Whichever way you want to do the math. I mean, 
mean, what? I mean, yes, I did attack last turn, but into the future, are you expecting me to win with this without attacking? It's just Ledros just kills kill stuff each turn. Who's on top of the bounty board today? I mean, what what am I stalling for? I mean, stalling just helps their deck, right? They're at fourteen. This is somewhere where you know playing. We, we talked about maybe playing Lunari Shade Stalker or Hired Gun. This is just a, a game where Lunari Shade Stalker would have been a little bit better, but just a little. I mean, not really en enough to make any difference though. card I wanted more than any other. Well, this was the perfect turn for us. I maybe should have gemmed this first. This was the perfect turn with Salvage hitting Jack the Winner and Riptide Rex. This is our only Riptide Rex. One, another Riptide Rex got tossed. So this is our only one of those. Say your farewell. They obviously don't have a one damage thing right now. Um, but just in case. Lock the doors. I bring clarity. Two and one. All right, same deck. So we've played against this twice. This is going to be the third time. So we are, we're one and one. We're going to break the tie here. I like this hand. Obviously, I want something else to do turn two, turn three. But we can at least save spell mana for, like, turn two. Hopefully something for, like, turn three. And we do have the attack tokens on the even turn, so we will have the attack token whenever we play Taric. Mentor of the Stones. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Like seeing that. Don't worry. I am here. I'm not worried. Should I be worried? Nope, you don't need to be worried. Well, that was the worst case scenario, was them having Avalanche. Did they still have four mana after the Avalanche? Look sharp. Never submit. Without Avalanche right there, we would have been looking pretty good. I don't know if I needed to play the gems first. So in. On these. This one gem. Oh, 
Eight mana. Double Pale Cascade, which is four. I got a couple of these as well. Four out of seven. Gotta trust your instincts. Shatter that. Lady Luck is smiling. They definitely just block Twisted Fates. Unfortunately, Taric levels up after the support happens, so they don't have the can't take damage or die this round. Okay, they did not block Twisted Fate. I was expecting a Twisted Fate to block, to be honest. Um, that's them going down to eight. All right, we'll just pass turn. I guess that's the thing. The trolls are going to war. Win all. Sure, I guess that's a thing too. Six after drawing this card. I'll knock him dead. Obviously, we were hoping that they. Let me. Alright, so we're at six. So we have nine mana. So this would be seven. This would be eight. So we'd have leveled up Twisted Fate. And then I could cast. So then that would be four mana. So we'd have five left. So I could cast Make It Rain, Make It Rain. Oh, that would just get to blue card, red card. Wouldn't, couldn't quite cast the gem because we can't cast it during combat for a gold card. Now, this game's we can at least up. protect. Hey, how this timer goes down while the animation. I can't do anything during the animation. Chill out. So this will protect Tarek. And then have to cast the Make It Rain right now to so make sure we get the red card, make sure that, that kills Trundle. Amuni with the donation deck. Thank you, Amuni. Hesitation we'll to write tell. that down. What's your donation, Dekamuni? Okay, so they, have, they do have the Withering Whale. Take down Tarek. Quite unfortunate that Tarek was going to be very good for me. Uh, being all possible to kill and stuff but now this is probably over Katarina Ram deck sweet
And stop staring. I smell a fight! Take out one ice pillar. Just saved one more mana to try and make a rain riptide rex. Yeah, that Katarina in that Swole Squirrel deck was awesome. Definitely planning on more Katarina decks. We'll, like, they'll have that Katarina Ram deck tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely a card that we're going to be playing more of soon. And a real reason to block. To have my 1-1 one, one block one of these. One and two against that deck. Let's do it. All right, it's not Trundle. It's not Trundle. So I'm keeping one Jack the winner. I just don't want to keep two, but we're going to keep one Jack the winner because this is a Demacia curve out deck and they're going to have good size units. Jack the winner at a 5-6 at 5 is a really good size um, for the curve. And so I just want to have... I want to have that. Like, it, it can block the smaller things very well. It matches up against Garen before Bannerman. Um, you know, it's just a good good body to put out there. So we're going to play that first. My faith protects me. The day don't need riches. Oh, you think my opponent's playing For the Fallen? I guess that's possible. I haven't seen a, a For the Fallen in it Constructed it yet. That is certainly a possible. So don't have anything to do with Taric right now. If I attack with the 2-2, then we need to make a rain. <clears throat> Do I want to cast Make It Rain, or do I just want to play Salvage? Um, I think I want to cast Make It Rain. And doing it in combat again because of Bannerman, I don't want to you know, let this happen and let them play another unit. Usually you would. Usually you'd want them to play the other unit, because then you just Make It Rain and kill the other unit. But because of Vanguard Bannerman, Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's the reason that card could be the reason to save Mega Rain for sure. My heart and soul for Alright, we're going to be getting these Sleep with the Fishes to help finish them off. That was the other reason um, to attack with the 3-2s and the 2-2 two -two and do all that was we already had two Jack the Winners in the end. The good work. We are going to be able to play... Does the block make sense? Hopefully no Rangers resolve with this block here. I 
All right, leveled up Garen. Garen is really good. We must not relent. Garen's gonna be tough to stop. Stay resolute. I promise the blood boss is ready for the show. I don't really know why you'd play this deck without Ranger's Resolve. I don't, I don't want to just say they don't have Ranger's Resolve. Like that. I, would, I would assume they probably do. Fifteen. Oh, you're just saying in hand? Yeah, because like the make they could have could have played it with the, with the Mega Rain. I guess I'm just dead. Garen is really good. Yeah, I guess either no matter what I do, I, I die, don't I? We need to find spells with that salvage. I guess I mean I I messed up with the, the sleep with the fishes because I should have cut this as a five six so we could have blocked here and stayed alive, uh, but we'd still basically be dead. Yep, GGs. Lock the doors. We do what is right. So it turned out the Mega Rain play got really punished for whenever I cast Mega Rain with the four mana two ones coming down right after. I don't really mind how I played that. It, it just I just got really punished for the that Mega Rain, but Garen is great. Um, Garen is just really great. That's I mean, and that's a card. I mean, Garen's a card that I have a ton of success with, right? Like I've played a bunch of Garen decks, and those are like the decks that I, that I do the well, or do probably like the best with. Um, uh, that are like not the non-meta decks of just like surprising people with Garen. That's a, a card people really underrate. Yeah, had a couple of strong first two games for sure. Um, yeah, didn't. Twisted Fate was awesome when we saw it. Didn't see a, a ton of Twisted Fate. But yeah, we Twisted Fate was very good when we had it. Um, yeah, Garen could be underplayed just because it's boring. That's true, it could be. Um, but with that regeneration, I think we're kind of seeing that with Trundle, right? Like that five mana card with regeneration that's huge, that's like impossible to kill. Um, and Garen's in the region with the single combats and concerted strikes, and it's just awesome. So there we go, there's Twisted Tarek. I don't, I didn't really love like Tarek in this deck and honestly just the, the Targon cards in general were pretty meh, like Guiding Touch. You know, this was, Tarek really didn't help that much. Um, yeah, our, I mean, Pale Cascade of course is always awesome, but just the, the Targon cards in general really underperformed. Um, we only got to attack with Mentor what, one time. Um, even the Jack the Winner was, was also kind of meh. Yeah, I don't. Um, I think that there's there's a good way to go. Like, I feel like that maybe we could have a better way to go with Twisted Fate and uh, Targon because I do like these card the, these card draw with Targon, but I'm not sure if Tarek is the other supporting champion. Um, I'm not sure Tarek would have been better than you know some of these other card than some of these other champions could have been. Maybe like Twisted Fate Fizz. Or go aggressive with Twisted Fate Misfortune. I don't know, the, the Tarek was a little out of place. Alright, but anyway, there we go. That's Twisted Tarek. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. Um, hope y'all learned a lot today. We sure did. You know, we didn't have the most wins, but that's okay. That's going to happen. Um, you don't need to get too down whenever you have a day where the wins don't go your way. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of variance in, in the game, um, but just understand when you're not playing the tier one decks, you are gonna, you're gonna have some times where you struggle while you are um, 
you know, kind of searching for what works, what doesn't work. It's okay to, to get those losses while you, um, you know, while you build and while you brew and uh, make new decks and try new things out. But, um, you know, don't just like lose a couple games, be like, man, I'm never going to build a new deck, never going to try stuff out. Hope, hope you still keep on doing that. Keep experimenting. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Twisted Tarek. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.